Warning, the following podcast contains explicit potty mouth language. If you don't want to hear words like fuck, shit, or dick, parental advisory is advised. Welcome to Round Robin, a bi-weekly podcast where we try to answer the weirdest, strangest, and smartest questions only found on the internet. I am your host, as always, Ryan Knightsey. On today's episode, uh, we have uh, uh, Zach Brakeen. Zach, how's it going? It's going great. It's going great. It's uh, actually going really well, actually. Really? Yeah, I think I'm like less stressed than I was last time. Not about the podcast, just like life, you know? Yeah. Yeah, why? What's the difference? Uh, couldn't tell you. That was that was. Uh, oh, actually, I think the last time we recorded with Kennedy, well, I recorded with Kennedy. It was homecoming. Yes. And I had to work it after because yes. I'm an RA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was. <sighs> that was a stre- more stressful. Yeah. Also, we have on the show on the program we have Adam Michalak. Adam. Howdy. How's it going, Adam? Uh, you know, I think I'm gonna become a new uh, profession, sheriff. <laughs> a sheriff? sheriff? Sheriff. Why? Why are you gonna become a sheriff? I don't know. I've been watching Eureka. You seen that show? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like I could. I could be. A, I could be a sheriff. Okay. Yeah. Why what not? Is, what is Eureka? It's like a TV show where there's this dude that's a sheriff of like a town where all the smartest people in the world are like located. Okay. Interesting. Is he also smart? No. Got he's, it. Ah, there it is. He's average. That's and I'm average. Got it. So mm-hmm. you are wearing currently uh, a, a lacrosse penny. It looks like. Yes. Uh, I, is this? I thought it was basketball, but it could be. I lacrosse. mean, it's a penny, nonetheless. I think it's. I think it's lacrosse. It it certainly could fit either way. Yeah. Is it reversible? It is. It's Sick. white. It's Love those. Yeah. yeah. Um, you are wearing a penny, uh, but yeah, so not that close to that sheriff. But. Oh, I was like, where are you tying in that he's wearing a penny? Like, well, why does sheriffs that get paid money. Pennies are a type of money. You are That's right. the biggest stretch I've seen since Mr. Fantastic. Um, anyways, uh, Zach, uh, you, you said you had a story you wanted to say on the show? I do have a story. It's less a story and more of just like a statement about, um... My mom recently moved to Texas, for those of you all who are wondering. Of course. and I was, at least. Right. Well, so I don't know how long she's there, but she's quite a mover, and so she's there now. Mm-hmm. And she sent my brother and I a video of two puppies with no context, and we were both um, astounded and uh, confused as to why. <laughs> and she fo- like followed up and said that... Um, her and my stepdad have uh, like adopted and are fostering puppies. Okay, which is just rude because <laughs> she's in Texas and I can't see and, them. And you can't and see. And she continues. By them, you mean the puppies? Yes, the of puppies. Course. Not my mom. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's fine. We see her enough. Well, we won't anymore because she's in Texas. Because she's in but Texas. Yes. Also, we won't see the puppies because. They're in Texas. Do you know what the puppies' names are? I don't. She. I've continuously asked what kind of puppies they are One. because they're different and what their names are. Two. And she just continues to send more videos of them that we <laughs> get no responses, so that's fun. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. It's, like, cute because I get to see videos of puppies, but, like, upsetting because they're not mine. And that's, I can't which is like, fair. touch them. I wish I would, could pet a puppy. I wish we had a puppy in the studio Me right too. now just, like, hang out with us. Was on the table. What do you What do you mean? Maybe there's one right here. This is like my favorite bit to do when I'm ever on the show. Is oh, I just say things that, you that were aren't the, happening. You were the Foley artist, I think, one episode, weren't you? Yeah, but with the paper. Yeah, right? yeah. you were being a Foley. I'm also really good at um, slurping soda drinks. Wait. I can. Like you're right there in the movie theater. <laughs> That sounded. You were that, that was a water bottle. That, I think? Was that your butthole, Adam? <laughs> Puckering. God, put your pants on. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, um, anyways, let's speaking of buttholes. Let's answer some questions. <laughs> uh, uh, as always, we try to answer questions. Give give oh, give it mm-hmm. answers, advice or not, uh, to people asking questions on the internet. That that being either Reddit, Yahoo, 
or any questions that are emailed in to our Gmail account. That's roundrobinpod at gmail.com, all one word. Um, so if we can answer any questions there, then we certainly will try. Um, Zach, uh, we'll start off with you. Uh, Reddit, Yahoo, or Gmail? I like to go with Gmail because I think I still like believe that you make up these questions, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like that they're fake, and mm-hmm. no one sends you. No, questions. no, his mom sends them in. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Only his mom. Only my mom. <laughs> Go ahead, Mrs. Nancy. Okay. Well, then, would you like to give a name first? Oh yeah, I'm Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Jonathan I Taylor. Of, Thomas. I thought about it. Oh, that's good. That's good. Before I got here. Um, uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Uh, uh, this is this hurts me to say, but one or two. Oh God. There's no three. Uh, we do not have enough Gmail questions. We are running quite low. Need so get some one, more followers, yeah. I guess. People need to start two. emailing in. Two. Um, again, email it in to roundrobinpod at gmail.com. We desperately need questions. Um, anyways, uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas writes, um, what if we're constantly in a state of pain, 24-7, from birth, but oh, we got God. used to it to the point where we, we're numb, and that's why babies cry. They're actually in pain. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. We're getting real heavy. Real deep, real dark. Wait, so like, so, oh, infants know that they're feeling pain, so they're crying, but then we're just like, nah. Over by like, time, we're by like, like three yeah. or something. And as we get older, we start realizing that pain comes back and then we die. Well, like when we're real, real old? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, real. The like, pain overtakes us? Right. Yeah. Like yeah. my knees and back. Yeah. So, so, my arms. So, Zach, what do you think? Are, are we constantly in a state of pain? If so, how so? I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I believe it. I don't know. That's a Jesus. That's such a hard question. It like, is a deep, uh, right off the bat, deep. I mean, question. it kind of makes sense. I remember reading this thing on Facebook, and it was like my favorite thing to repost when I was like, fame, uh, Facebook famous in middle school. <laughs> yeah, I always used to come home and post. Sorry, memes. you said you were MySpace famous? No, f- um, Facebook famous. How dare you? <laughs> Duh, it was after MySpace. It wasn't that cool. <laughs> but I used to come home and like I would go on to a Facebook Tumblr page. Mm-hmm. Like not a Tumblr page, but a Facebook page that posted Tumblr posts. Yeah. And I would like save ten and then I would post ten. I was like it was like my daily like regimen. Anyways, one that I would always repost was like, what if we are the air is poisonous, but it only it takes like eighty years to kill us or whatever. Yeah, that's a theory that I've like, you know, didn't answer what you asked. But, um, <laughs> yeah, Adam. Um, well, I'm a little hesitant to answer because if that's the case, then you know why do I still feel pain when I you know swim over and over oh like yeah, day yeah. In and day in. like we feel yeah. pain now like yeah you break an arm or so something. i thought i'd be immune to pain if i learned to overcome well, as a child. i mean if you like break a leg you're gonna feel the pain but then if you break an arm you'll also feel more pain like it's not like you all can only feel one amount of pain at a time right but if we become tolerant to it of, then why does of it just like flare up crying pain well i guess because we broke it well arm. maybe it's <laughs> like maybe it's sort of a thing of like we feel more pain because it's a new pain like so, if that's a new pain, what's mm. this old pain that we're mm. feeling throughout the, our entire life? We're just getting numb just to it. existential, existential pain, complete body m- paralyzation. That doesn't. What's your favorite conspiracy theory, Ryan? Um, uh, favorite conspiracy theory. Um, uh, I would say I like. That's a tough one, actually. Um. I mean, obviously, flat Earth thing is uh, gotten a, a lot more popular in the past, in the recent years. Um, I hate it though. I, <laughs> I love it. I, there's there's so many conspiracy theories that I, that I hear about that are like both hilarious, but I also just hate them. Just like because I step away and it's like, so what? Yeah. Like not. I don't know. Like it just doesn't f- unfathomable to me as as is saying the flat is the earth is flat. The flat is earth. The flat is earth. Yeah, I like that one. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you have one a that I think about a lot is the like the Truman Show kind of one. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Just like everything is fake. Yeah. Like I think about like flying places where like you know you you are in a place and then you like fly to like say Europe or something. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel any different. Like you don't know that you're on the other side of like. 
yeah on another part of the planet so like what if you just got in a plane and it didn't go anywhere and it sh- shook around a little but bit but like you s- there's a projection and it lo- looks like you're flying ugh I don't like to think about it it's a I, good th- I think about it a lot I don't like to talk about it because then I'm like wow this is real like what if everybody's listening to us right now and this whole thing is a setup and everyone around me is actors yeah Adam do you have a favorite conspiracy uh, line please <laughs> Is that uh, a no? <laughs> okay. No. Um, it's okay if you don't. I don't like conspiracy theories because I live in fact. <laughs> okay. Facts, okay. right? Facts. Yeah. I live. You know, if you don't got the facts. facts thanks. Right. <laughs> it, you know, there there are no facts. You got you got no proof. You know what I'm saying. Uh, fair okay. enough. Fair enough. I mean, <laughs> in his defense, I mean that makes sense to a certain extent, like with science and stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I think that's a similar thing. It's just like there's so much. Like I remember talking to a friend of ours and they're like uh, James who's been on the podcast before where he's, he's doing a flat earth doc. Mm-hmm. And he, started, he was sort of like talking or the person, the flat earth that was talking through him. So they were kind of having a conversation about it. And I was, I was asking like, uh, he's like, he was like, well, why do you believe it? I was like, well, I guess it's sort of a peer pressure thing because – uh, like it was like, uh, what evidence do you have? I was like, well, I believe it, and so I would guess ninety five percent of the world believe right. it. So it's sort of a, it's hard to deny those numbers, but yeah. at the same time, it's like ninety five percent of people could be wrong. So I, right. I don't, I've never seen the Earth, but at the yeah. same time, like <laughs> we've had pictures, we have pictures, exactly. We have pictures, it's like but those types of people. I think James said the same thing to me. Was like, you can't convince them like yes. if they believe a certain way and you say oh people have been to space and they'll say well that's fake yeah and there's like no it that's incredible to me and i think that's what james has really like delved into mm-hmm. we should we're like plugging his doc before it's done but <laughs> i think that's like a really interesting concept is that you can't change people's minds when they're like on that other world when they, when so they think speak. so differently that yeah. it, or think so uh, uh i don't want to say not smart or dumb but like they think so not intellectually. Right. It's hard to combat that with an intellectual discussion because mm-hmm. it's just like they're not th- – they don't – people like – no offense, but I guess. But people like that don't necessarily think intellectually or they believe science or fact or what have you. Yeah. But then it's like what – I can't c- combat that with an intellectual discussion. I can't yeah. be like, well, the science dictates because yeah, exactly. it's like science is fake. Right. Like, my roommate fuck, uh. <laughs> My roommate from last year thought the earth was flat and I wish I talked to him more cuz it's just he's on another he's in another world. It's crazy. At, at the same time it's like it's also fucking bonkers to talk to people like that. It's just like listening to And that there's so them. many of them. Yeah, and just like talking to them cuz it's also like like I I'll shit on it of course, but God, I'll shit on anything, but uh will you <laughs> just for the right price. Uh, <laughs> But it's like at the same time, it's tr- also like truly fascinating that it's yeah. like like what like go on like, just continue, continue telling me <laughs> like it's, what you're saying is crazy, but I'll listen. So yeah, I don't know. So anyways, yes, we all feel pain all the anyways, time. Yeah, it checks out. Uh, moving on, Adam, uh, uh, Reddit, Yahoo, or Gmail. Um, I like Reddit now because I've I've become a Reddit user. You have become same. a Reddit user. I I follow two. Th- Threads? Question mark? Subreddits? Subreddits. There we go. What are they? Rainbow Six Siege. Yes. And The Division. Yeah, the uh, the Tom Clancy, yeah, yeah, Tom the Clancy Division the video game. So you follow two video game subreddits, but there's yes. millions of others. I follow... Wait, it's like YouTube? Is that essentially. What is that what you're telling me? I can't remember who I follow. Oh, I follow Watch and Learn. They're mm-hmm. like like a bunch of really long gifts about like how to make stuff. I watch in class. Yeah, it's really fun, educational. I'm still learning you, and like <laughs> dank memes and something else stupid. You want to you teach you, you learn something, watch and learn something while in class. Yeah, while I should be watching and learning class, I yes. watch and learn Reddit. That's fine. That's all fine. Uh, Adam, one, two, or three. Uh, four. Oh, mm, uh, not an four option. divided by. Two is two. Two. No, that's two. two no, that's is. right. Four. Math is hard. Two. Adam, one, two, two, or three. Before four we and half is two. Yeah. <laughs> two. You're gonna two. go two. Uh, can I get a yeah. name for this person? Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay. Uh, uh, Jimmy. No, no last Super name at name. all. <laughs> no last name at all for Jimmy. What's Jimmy? 
So, so no last name needed. <laughs> no last name needed. No. Uh, Jim A writes, uh, should I tell my friend that their baby smells terrible? Their baby smells terrible? A friend of mine has a 15-month-year-old little boy. 15. Who, that's that's 15 more than a year. That's more little, than a year. 15 so, month year old. So, like a year and so. 15 month old, sorry. 15 month old year little boy. Old, old year. Yeah. And so, that's what? A year, a year, year and three months. months? Year and three months year old. Who is super cute and always appears to be clean, but smells so, so bad every time I see him. It's a really powerful sweat slash urine scent that absolutely sticks to everything. They stayed at our house for a week and it took a few days for the smell to fade after they left. I thought I was just not liking his scent for whatever reason, but then my husband commented on how bad it was. Obviously, my friend is in love with her child and would be hurt if I told her that it smells off, but I'm a little worried that some might actually be clinically wrong with him. Parentheses, diabetes? <laughs> Interesting. I can ask her about it nicely, but I'm not a parent, and I have no idea if this is overstepping slash crossing a boundary. Should I bring it up? You know, I think the first option you should do is make a Yelp review. <laughs> for the baby <laughs> on on behalf of the baby right yeah like, yeah that's easy no and then you can just make a fake profile and you're done <laughs> like thomas household or zero Yikiak. out of 10 stars <laughs> is Yikiak baby Yikiak smells something? bad <laughs> the f- one out of five stars the the, the food's great but this baby just <laughs> smells, smells like urine and sweat have you guys ever smelled a baby um, yeah, I stick I'm, my nose in the babies all the time. Yeah. Just, uh, you should smell that. Like, when you hold them, you know what a baby smells like. I don't like, know right? what a new baby smell is. People talk uh, about new baby okay, smell. Well, I feel like it's a joke First of all, I don't actually smell anything. First of all, this baby is not new. It's 15 <laughs> months, years old. Of course. And second of all, they do smell... It's like the top of their head like has a specific smell. I don't know if hair. it's scientific, but it's like... No, like, before, well, I mean, they might have hair, but it's like... A yeah. baby just like smells a certain way, but like that's not a normal baby smell, like sweat and urine. Sweat and urine. Does it, maybe they like don't like their baby? Mm. Maybe no, no, no. Is that like, what you're suggesting? Diaper change, maybe. Wait, it's a friend of the, of this person. Yes. Jimmy's friend has yes. a baby. Well, Jimmy. Maybe friend. they don't like Jimmy, and so they like. Ooh. They are like, oh, baby's dirty. Let's invite. No, no, Let's Jimmy's invite. coming, and they're like, don't change the baby's diaper yet. Let's have Jimmy come over. It's like a then, passive aggressive right. thing. They're not going to be like, leave. They but are coming We don't you. want you here. That's interesting. That's kind of like, I think, abuse. <laughs> On <laughs> the baby, I guess? Yeah, you, can, you have to change your baby's diaper. Why can't the baby change its own diaper? It's 15 months year it's old. It's 15 year months old. Um, some animals can walk instantly after birth. You're right. And a baby can't true. change its diaper we a year are, after born, being born. But babies cry because they're hurt all the time. Oh, God Remember? Damn. It's a condition. Just talk about this. That is true. <laughs> that is factual. So it is, you're just saying that it could be some sort of like this passive aggressive move at Jimmy. I mean, I don't know what else it would have, what would be. Babies don't just like smell like that. Well, what could it what be? If, what what if the s- baby is in on it? <gasps> like we're thinking baby's this baby's like, gotcha. stupid. Oh, it's like right? a boss baby. It's a boss baby. It's like, hey, mom and dad, I hate movie. Jimmy too. I haven't, but you I know what to. happens. Um, so what... If there's a smell, do, what do you think the what do you think is the cause of the smell? Do you think it's just sweat and urine, or do you think, as they suggest, diabetes? I don't the know why they diabetes? think. Apparently, I, I don't know the why they think diabetes. diabetes, like because of urine. That doesn't really make that. Did much they say sense. how fat like, the baby It's was? a baby. It probably pees often, so it probably just smells like its own. I'm playing with the mic. You can probably hear it. Sorry. <laughs> uh, they don't. They don't say how big the baby is. Uh, they just say that they're a wor- little worried. Uh, that something might be wrong clinically, and that that is why they're yeah, getting a right. scent of sweat and urine. And they believe that the cause of sweat and urine scent is diabetes. No, I don't think it's diabetes. <laughs> well, then what is it? It's mm. no. I think oh. it pees itself. I think the baby is like no. The baby can control its bladder. Come no, on. <laughs> at at a fifteen year months old, I don't think this so. baby sounds like a genius. Yeah, you're right. I think it's. I think he's the doing baby it on has purpose. a lot of property. At I think baby's like mom and dad. I hate Jimmy too. I'll take one for the team and just pee myself. Mm-hmm. I do it normally anyway, but this time I'll do it for you out of spite. And they're like, "Thanks, son." And then they all high five mm-hmm. at the same time, three away. So Ooh. if we don't know three what the high s- five, Adam. If we don't infant. know what the scent is, <laughs> either way, uh, should Jim A tell their friend about the, how their baby smells terrible. Yes. No. No. Oh, whoa, whoa. We, what do you think? Yes. Because, Why? okay, even if I hate the person. Of course. Like, let's say Jim A. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I am Jim A. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, and and this, target this, this Tim person, A. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh, Tim A is yeah. my best friend. Yeah. Um, I'm like, bro, your baby stinks. Mm-hmm. Like, it, you got to be truthful. But then Timmy's going to be like, oh, it's because we hate you and we don't want you to <laughs> And then I'll be over. like, all right, I hate you too. And then we get past that point and I find a new friend. And then okay. you move on to yeah. like. So I get a, I get a better life via this outcome because he told the truth like I told the truth. Or you could just be like, I don't like your baby. And then just don't be friends with them without saying anything. That would save both of you guys time because Timmy doesn't have to be like, sorry, I, I hate you. And my baby is peeing itself so you can leave. And you don't have to be like, your baby stinks. And now I know that you hate me, so I hate you too. Like, you guys just go separate ways. Or I'll be fine. The baby can send out a letter. I don't think he. Like a I don't memo. Think he's, they're after me, though. I think, like, he legitimately doesn't know how to change the man's diaper. Yeah, what if they maybe, just don't know how to do it? They just maybe, haven't done it a little like, bit. Like, because Timmy's kind of incompetent. Like, it said, I feel like it's sort of that thing of, like, y- in the back of your head, sort of everyone's sort of concerned about what they smell like because they can't really smell their own oh, scent. Oh, my God. Aren't you always afraid of that when you go to someone's house and you're like, wow, this smells like them? And you're like, do I smell like my house? Does my house smell? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's such yeah, a terrible, haven't you, scary thing. Haven't you thing. been to houses that, like, have a smell? Yeah, yeah and that's like, what I'm but saying. Bad, but, like, bad ones. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. <laughs> like, like, bad smells? I've been to some, yes. I've been to some garbage smelling houses. But, I've like, been to aren't a... you afraid that you smell, but you don't know? Yeah, and, my, like, your house smells? My house don't smell like garbage. I have a good nose, though. But you don't, but you but, don't know. But what about your own it. scent? You don't know it. That's the thing. Like, you go to someone's house and it smells like shit, but they don't know it I mean, smells like shit. I can like guess shit. what my scent smells like. <laughs> what, does it, what does it smell like? Sweat and urine? <laughs> Do you have diabetes? Oh, God. <laughs> Adam came on today to tell us <laughs> he has diabetes. That is a nice thing of him to do, I feel like. Congratulations. Why would I, I, well, that's why not, would I tell him? Congratulate anything. that. Uh, I feel sorry. So, so, we, so you, Adam, you say you should tell him. Yes. You should tell Tim A. Or, yeah, Tim A. Tim A. I'll go with that, sure. But, you're, but this, I mean, obviously, you. this is assuming that they're doing it out of spite. They could just be, like, not Yeah, sure, no, I think, be I think maybe if they, they could be neglecting their baby. And so Which is a whole other issue. good thing for you to say, hey, um, is your baby supposed to smell like this? Because if you're, if you're neglecting the baby, then it's like, okay, well, then if maybe they're a new parent or something. They don't, they right. don't know how often they clean. There's not enough details in this question. Yeah, they, Thanks a lot, Jimmy. Wow. Jimmy. Uh, uh, let's 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 uh, let's get some insulin in us. Well, let's go take a break. Get some in- <laughs> insulin. Break. In us. My God, right. we're starting no to break. smell like sweat and urine. No um, uh, well, let's go take a break, and we'll be back right after this break. See ya. Bye. Bye. And we are back after the commercial break. Uh, Adam, you said you had a, you thought of the conspiracy theory, your favorite one over the over the break. Yes, the Avril Lavigne uh, death and replacement conspiracy theory. Good That's one. a solid it one. Is a good Do you want one. to explain it? Uh, basically, the theory is Avril Lavigne died somehow. I'm not actually sure. I didn't really. I don't read. think there is or was a reason she just so. died, but she, just died. she was then replaced with a almost identical body to- double. Body double. Mm-hmm. And, like, people have, like, circled pictures and been like, look, their wrists, they're different sizes. <laughs> it's like, yes. <laughs> I'd like to believe it. It's a, it's a, Those things are crazy. Yeah. Those are, like, the fun ones. It's though. like the meme theories, isn't it? Me- meme spiracy theories. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's a real term. But I have I – oh, I just thought of one. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut no, you off. No, go for it. I just thought of one that I have, like, done a lot of really, like, in-depth research with. There's this podcast – crazy it's called i think it's called one more thing and i don't know who runs and i don't listen to them but they did this like 40 minute <laughs> facebook live stream about how they believe um leah michelle can't read <laughs> leah michelle is the actress on glee and she was on broadway <laughs> if you guys know her um but they were like talking about how because she was like a performer from such a young age and then went on to glee and like she's always been doing stuff that she um never learned how to read she just is an actress so she memorizes stuff and there have been like clips of her like reading stuff and they've like debunked them and like there's like a million pictures of her signing books but there's never actual pictures of her signature and like every picture you can google it like every picture that she has taken of her like at a book signing or signing something her pen is always not touching the paper (laughs) so it's like it's actually pretty like scarily convincing 
and I, I'm so mad I thought about it right now, like, after we talked for, like, 40 minutes about conspiracy theories, but it's a good one. That's a check s- check out One More Thing podcast, and I don't know their names. <laughs> it's a boy and a girl, and they, like... And, and go read check Leah out Michelle's their books, it's, the books that she doesn't the, read herself. The books that are actually just full of pictures. It's also <laughs> part of the conspiracy, but it's but, a good one. <laughs> that's really great. Um, uh, let's let's answer some questions. Uh, Zach, I believe it's your turn. Mm-hmm. Reddit, Yahoo, or Gmail? Uh, Yahoo. Yahoo. One, two, or three. What did we do last time? Two? Yeah, we did two last time. Um, Adam's telling me four, so three. three. Okay, so three. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, can I get a name for this person? Yeah, I only thought of one, so now I have to think of another one. <laughs> the, um, I love that. I, that's, I think, my favorite underrated part about Ron Robin is the fact that there's only one thing really that the uh, that, that you, you guys can come bring. in that you guys can come in with and that's having names. Um, oh, I have no it. one ever does. I want to keep with the three name theme, so I'll go with Sarah Michelle Geller. Sarah Michelle Geller. Uh, Sarah Michelle Geller. G- G- Gala. 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 Sarah Michelle Geller asks. She's really wondering, which animals are real. Oh, keeping with the theories, I see. I know some animals are made up by the government. But which ones are real? Which government? <laughs> which government are we talking about here? The, the government. Do you have a date? Like when this question was asked? No. Ugh. That was like because you're lazy, or because there was no date. I, I just didn't screenshot Got it properly. It. Great. Uh, <laughs> oh, this could be. What the which, heck? Which animals? Well, are real. I mean, this kind of. I was like, what do you mean? Like all animals are real, but I mean, there is the idea well, of, like unicorns are animals, but they're not real. Yes. Or are they? I mean, Did I've seen die? some movies about unicorns. You like? They may be Come animated. On. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say. Is it the last <laughs> unicorn? <laughs> um, so which, guys, give me give me some answers here. Which animals are real? Well, there's, of course, turkeys, turkeys are one. Seen those. Everyone's seen those. I guess we could like name I, off not, like honestly, animals that we've seen live. But honestly, what if they're robots? The cocks, we don't know. I don't think I've ever ants. seen a live turkey. That's what? a lie. I only see a dead turkey. Well, Thanksgiving. You never like been exactly. to a farm Loving. or like a petting zoo and there's been a turkey like I mean, really I, angrily. I'm. I have. I just you. don't know if there's been a turkey. Okay. Well, I I know I've seen a turkey. So are you just Z-boxed. not sure what a turkey looks like? Turkey's yeah, it's like one of those you like ever big seen a chickens. No feathers. It's like a giant chicken. It's all brown. They do skin. have feathers. It's like burnt. It's their black. head doesn't have any feathers. Leg is night. Uh, they're burnt. They don't really have any legs. If you uh, take no off legs, their... are they an invasive species? Hello? Did we bring them from over from, or were they here when the Turkeys? Native Americans were here? Uh, I'm. F- I feel like they were American originally. They're indigenous, I believe. I'll Google to America, it. North America at least. Well, so, they had them at the first Thanksgiving. Isn't that the story? Probably. Adam, which animals are real? None of them. (laughs) What? 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 Because, you know, you've heard. (laughs) No, I haven't. Go on. (laughs) Heard what? (laughs) Well, think about this, right? Okay. We got the television, right? (laughs) Yes. They faked the moon landing. I like where we're going with this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and they can fake Animal Planet, can't they? Interesting. Marma, Marmadukes, Marma, what? those African little rats, uh, meerkats, meerkats. Yeah, those. <laughs> they got a TV show about them, and and the guys narrating what they're doing. So clearly, it's staged, right? Interesting. Could be right? true. Right? Turkeys are natives to North America. I Thank figured you. it out. Thank you. Anyways, back to Adam. Turkeys aren't animals, though. <laughs> back, back to right, Adam. Right, because they're not real. Because they're not real. So if they're not a- actual real animals, what are they? Uh, let's go with synthetic cellular <laughs> creatures. So, but but that would make them real. So, like, if we're thinking, like, did you see Jurassic no, what's, World? What's real, though, right? Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's we not can't. go too off the Let's not go too here. existential here. <laughs> But like in so okay the idea of like Jurassic Park and Jurassic World they made made the dinosaurs from yeah robotic existing anim- no, no robotic <laughs> and CGI I'm talking about like the world fake of- see you see what I'm- <laughs> you're talking with the lore of the movie Adam not just how like, they but, made but how did, made how did they make these fake animals CGI they can yeah, they got CGI right. in the real world okay but like haven't you seen like really shitty CGI yeah I've seen trolls too trolls too is there a trolls too <laughs> I know. 
I, I, I know what Adam's it. talking about. <laughs> I know exactly what Adam's talking about. Trolls 2? Yes. That's an actual movie. I know. It's not related to the Trolls of Justin Timberlake movie. Oh, what is it? Do you know they're making another Nomeo? Nomeo and Juliet? No, no they're it's, making it's, it's, uh, Sherlock Gnomes. Sherlo- yeah, Sherlock Gnomes. I think it's out already. I think it is. I, I think, think it's, it's been out. I think it's out of theaters. I don't think they're <laughs> yeah. even showing it in theaters anymore. I don't know. I don't Thanks for keeping us updated on the movies, though, Adam. <laughs> I see all the trailers. But anyways, the idea of Jurassic Park, I'm yes, I'm bringing it back. Please do. The, like, they took animal cells or whatever, animal embryos, like chickens and things that came from the no, Jurassic area or blood. era. Yes. And like, I don't know, morphed them with things. Frog DNA. Yeah, yeah. Like, so they like made what the dinosaurs used to be. So maybe well, if they were able to do that, then we could. I lost my train of thought. It was like ten minutes ago when I had a really good. If idea they could and I do, if it. they could like take the blood of out of the mosquitoes that are trapped in ember, amber, sorry, ember, uh, city of ember, uh, good book, and convert that somehow through cloning and DNA sampling and what have you mm-hmm. into actual b- living, breathing dinosaurs. Are those real? Certainly, they could. Yeah, oh yeah, that brings up a whole big question. That's Is right. That real? I think that's Is it even ethical? That. Well. No, I mean it's certainly not ethical when they're using it for like an amusement park. <laughs> I feel like you're not like right. you're not like bringing back your old cat that died. And you're like, oh, Whiskers is back or something. It's is like the new one out yet? Jurassic World. Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. Yeah, that one. By the time it's recording, I don't think so. I think that comes out. Is like, anyone gonna see it? Yeah, people. Some people. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend Chris anyone Reed. who's no. gonna yeah, Chris any any of our listeners who really like Chris nails. Pratt. No. <laughs> Oof. I love Chris Pratt. I don't enjoy all of the movies he's in. Shirtless, Chris agreed. Pratt. Yeah. Um, what is he shirtless in? Uh, Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy oh, one. Yeah, he Oof. is. Oof. Getting sweaty. Oof. Oof. Take a sip of my. Get Watch that your thirst. Mm. Uh, so, which animals are real? Uh, None what, of them. First, what do you constitute as real? Right. Of course. Yeah, that Nothing. depends. But and also, like, it could be puppetry. What government is is. Telling us, wait, government's telling Stargate us the real government. ones or the bad or the some animals are made up by the okay, government. Okay, made up. So, like, which ones would they make up and why? The ones that we eat, like like cows, like whoa, beef. Whoa, whoa. this is getting food ink. Here. What's a cow? Like pigs, like turkeys. Um, well, you know they do have a turkey part in. We and do, that's like a government have thing. A day that is a tr- like, they, and that's a whole. Like and that's a whole thing to did uh, tr- Trump the, the, the tur- turkey the the parting the turkey is like no is idea. like this whole like play of like let's take this chicken dress it up like this big old uh, feathery motherfucker and 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 show everyone that like oh yeah these are turkeys they're totally real and we're gonna in this one also Trump hasn't been in office yeah yeah wait he's been there for a year has he yeah so was he, he in part- office all through November yeah. wow time flies when you're in a bad government. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> anyways, sorry for our alt right listeners. Anyways, new conspiracy theory: White House uh, is the government is made up turkeys. Yeah, and oh, turkeys To tell everyone that turkeys are real, but in fact they are not. And I think what that's you're what eating is something else. I think that's a good conclusion of of squirrel. Um, Sarah Michelle Geller's question: that Turkeys are a fake. Turkeys are fuck. They're ugly too. Like, who wants turkeys? Like, if tur- you're not going to go up to somebody and be like, "Hey, turkeys are fake," and they're going to be like. No, they're not, and like fight you on it. Like, who wants turkeys to be real, real anyway? If I were to make up an animal, I think with my shitty uh, creative sides, I think I could make up a turkey. I think, yeah. like, if I if you look at a turkey, you're like, yeah, that looks like someone made up an animal. <laughs> right. They just took a bird, made it like a bunch of feathers, like weirdly Put, like, like, like shaped dick head. head on the end of it. Yeah, and just like you know, just gobble gobble. Uh, that's Gross. the sound it makes. Like oh what sound what, at the writers room? Wait, what's the sound of this animal? A uh, uh, <laughs> uh, gobble like, gobble. Sorry, I think he's having a stroke, but let's record that noise. I like it. Uh, yeah, uh, that makes the most sense to me. I think. What animal do you wish was fake? If we're talking about they're all being real, which animal do you want to not be real? Homo sapiens. Wow, hot yeah. take. Um, just kidding. Squirrels. I was thinking squirrels. I squirrels mean, are, I mean, rats. Black squirrels. Rats. Why black pigeon? squirrels? Honestly. Or white squirrels. Yeah, okay, good. Pigeons, maybe? No, pigeons. pigeons, they carry messages. They go, carry, not, I mean, not as much as they used to, are but. Are you sure? Yes. Prove it. 
My dad had a friend. <laughs> Files. Who, <laughs> my dad had a friend who used to train homing pigeons. Yeah. And they were like white, and you could like dye them colors. Mm-hmm. And then me in like high school was like cool, but I really think it was like not ethical or like good because they they were like like do- they looked like doves. Yeah. And he could send messages to places, but he would like dye them like pink and blue and stuff. Don't know if that was like safe or anything. I know that like I feel like pigeons though. However, like like any. The problem is like the whole like food cycle, food chain, what have you. Is right. like, like getting rid of rats, getting rid of pigeons, getting rid of what have you. Like then like there'll be like an overpopulation of like another thing, and snakes. then like snakes or whatever. Like if we yeah. get rid of the squirrels, and it's like there's gonna be nuts of everywhere. Nuts. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> hate those. What a nut job. Am I okay. right, y'all? Are you promoing their next movie? <laughs> yep. I guess I am. How many do they have? Three. Yeah. They might have had a bunch of straight to DVD know. stuff. I don't want to know. Adam and a TV show. Reddit, Yahoo, or Gmail. Uh, let's go with your last Gmail. Going for the last Gmail. We're gonna clean you out. We need some more followers. We need Please some more listen to the show and and submit Send questions quest- to yes. roundrobinpod at gmail dot com. Come on, Ryan's mom. Or we're gonna have to just Lacking. answer Reddit and Yahoo questions. <gasps> Gross. Um. Uh. The, for the final Gmail question that we have, hopefully not the final Gmail question of all time um <laughs> wait this is a this is a rough one to wait, answer we need a name first yes okay. adam can i get a name jimmy's back jimmy's uh, jimmy's jimmy. what jimmy jimmy jimmy, jimmy writes this one again yeah well this see this see he, he realized that he was trying to get in two categories mm-hmm. right? that so makes sense like, you know boom boom expand his possible answers mm-hmm. right so jimmy asks for the for the our current last Gmail question, unless we get more, please send more. Please. <laughs> Why do only brave kids get cancer? Why none of the scaredy cats? Because the scaredy uh, cat ones die. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Zach. Oh, and the end. <laughs> Adam, Adam, thanks you... for recording or listening, <laughs> and we'll be back. No, go ahead, Adam. <laughs> Someone sent that in to our Gmail. Who the hell sent that in? Who Are knows? they anonymous? I mean, no, it was Jimmy. It's Jimmy. Oh, right. We do have your email. Okay, Jimmy's really bad with babies and cancer. (laughs) Apparently. God. So, Adam. Oh, and diabetes. Wow. Why do only brave kids get cancer? Adam, take the floor. Um, I'll sit back, relax, and wait for your answer. Please be PC. (laughs) I don't know who listens to this show. (laughs) You don't have to be PC PC if you don't want to. Politically correct? Yes, that's Ooh. what PC means. But personal computer. You don't right, have to be right. personal computer be, on the show. Be so Apple. Be, be Mac. Be Apple. Would you like to buy products? <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. So can you answer the question? Why do only brave kids get cancer? Here's my theory. Why none First of scary cats? So cancer? first off, cats aren't real. Cats are real. Oh right. No, I'm allergic not. to them. So wouldn't you want them to more? Okay. We're getting away from the. Cancer. So I think cancer. Makes you brave. Whoa. Right? Took the words out of my mouth. Because <laughs> it's like, I'm going to die. Yeah. But then, yes. like, now nah, let's shoot some radiation into you. And like Superman, they become stronger. They become braver. Well, so radiation I'm saying this makes... radiation. <laughs> yeah. That turns them into superheroes. Turns them into brave people. Mm hmm. And, and then they and then Superman's a, into, I would argue a pretty brave individual. So cancer so gives ergo, you superpowers. Stick your head inside your microwave. Okay, hold, okay, you're losing me a little bit. I liked where you started. <laughs> I get that though. That makes sense. That uh, cancer makes you brave. Yeah, I, I can like I like the idea. Like it certainly sort of like makes sense. Like you have to like. You ha- kind of like have to but, be sort of like right. tough will. Yeah, because if you're stuff. not into it, you'll literally die. You'll and be like the weak nope. ones will die off. So it's real yeah. hard to get through, depending on the cancer, of course. Yeah, but so it's not like cancer's like brave cancer. got you. I mean, it does seem that, is that way. Your new, is times. that your new marketing campaign for cancer? Cancer got you. <laughs> oh my god, it's so awful. <laughs> no, it should be surprise. <laughs> surprise, you're brave here. Come to me. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but that is the way it seems a lot. And not with, like, kids, but I think with, like, adults. We always hear about, like, people who were, like, I don't know. I know somebody who had breast cancer, and she was, like, the strongest. Both of my aunts had breast cancer. Were yeah. they, like, really cool people, though? Like, before? Yeah, one of uh, Well, I mean, well, I mean they were your aunts. I like them. <laughs> yeah. This girl in high school got cancer senior year. Mm-hmm. And we 
drew a card for her. I have no idea her name, but that's fine. She's alive, has hair now. That's good. That's awesome. Amazing yeah, there's a, recovery. There was a kid in my high school who had brain cancer, so he like he I think he lost eyesight because he had to have like. No. It's not nice. Why did you say nice? <laughs> Anyways, um, but like yeah, he seems brave, and it's like, oh, cancer. Like everybody who has cancer is brave, but it's like not not because they're brave that they got cancer. Obviously, Jimmy's an idiot. Mm-hmm. Anyways, wow. Maybe he has cancer. Nope. I like. The, I really. I really do diabetes. like the idea that that it's almost like cancer is this weird. Like, yeah, you like literally have to have the idea of I need to. You have to tough this out, yeah. or you'll die. Yes, literally. Liter- I literally. literally hate that feeling. Um, but I do like that. We st- we started started deep and we ended deep. And uh, why none of them scaredy cats? Because either they die or they're not real because cats aren't real. So it's simple as simple as that. Sometimes we're just you know cats aren't real. Cats aren't real. Like, neither are turkeys. Neither are turkeys. Fuck turkeys. Fuck turkeys. If you take away anything today, it's fuck turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> no, Wait. Nothing that we said um, insulting about cancer. No, I don't I think that we handled that perfectly. I think we handled that question perfectly. Adam nailed it, really. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we're kind of wrapping up the show here. Uh, oh, no. Um, uh, Never be back. Uh, uh, who, who, yeah, at least not for next episode. Speaking of next episode, oh. it's time to pick who might be on next week's, or not next week, oh. but next episode, next bi week's episode. So, like we've done before, uh, 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 at this point, 11 times this season, I have a random sheet here. One of you guys have to press enter and will randomly choose one person, or I guess two people from this list. Hopefully, not one person that you we mean have to shift? Do, do it again. No, no press enter. enter, you god dang fool. Right I'll hold there. on to you. So we're both doing it. Okay. It is loading. It's still loading. It is load. It takes so much Adam long Mitchell, to load. Adam Mitchell, I can Zach Raheem. Wow. Nice. Impossible. Did is it again. That, wait, that means we got to come back, right? Okay. Next, oh, that's next a episode. Pair. I don't think, I don't think neither of these two guys have been on at all this season. Who are they? We got Donnie G. Donovan Gora. And what is James Robinson's like nickname that he uses? Jamie Weenie. No. It was like something James. to do with this last name. I don't remember. James Robinson. James Robinson. James Meet the Robinson. We yeah. talked about him yeah. earlier. Yeah. James, we, we referenced his flat earth thing. So yeah, maybe we go can see his doc. That is not by time is, this episode, next episode comes out. When it be comes done. out. Uh, James Robinson and Donovan Gore will be the next ones on the show. Um, so, so That's a good pair. That's a solid pair. They better not beat us, though. Pair songs. Uh, We're pretty good. I mean, they'll have to answer. I'll ask them the cancer questions. Please well. ask them. You should have that, like, bookmark every single episode to, like, really bring it. Do you believe in bring cancer? Bring, uh, like, a dimmer down on the we, cancer We animal? find out who is the actual good people on the right. show. Yeah. And then we go from there. Uh, awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming on. Uh, uh, Adam, where can people find you, if anywhere? Uh, my bedroom? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Would you like to advertise where your bedroom is? <laughs> yeah, Belfast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now y'all, y'all can find me on Twitter. I'm going to change my Twitter handle, so, you know, find me. To what? I don't know. I, I was what thinking. What is it right now? Do you it, think you're going to change this by Thursday? No. Right. So what is it right now? Like, uh, it's Adam underscore N underscore Michelak. Adam underscore and underscore Michelek. Find him on Twitter. Zach, what should it be? I don't know. Can Adam, we, can we de- can we delve twenty minutes and figure out what that his ad is? <laughs> I was thinking. Wait, we'll do I was, it off. We'll Mike, do it I off. Mike. Yeah. Um, uh, Zach, where can people find you? Um, well, everybody should be following me by now. I've been on four times. I mean, of course, basically like a <laughs> Jesus guy, in celeb. Ca- in case they don't. Anyways, uh, just like at Zach Burkeen on everything, Instagram, Twitter. MySpace. Anything else? MySpace. Yeah, MySpace and MySpace. You and Tom are hanging out. Oh, Facebook too. Who? Tom? Timmy? Is it Tom from MySpace? Tom. Who the hell is that? That dude. The guy who made it? Yeah, when you're friends of, when you're going MySpace, the very first friend you get is Tom. Is it really? Yeah. That's cool. Have you ever, have you ever been, never been on MySpace? I've never been on, no, yes I have. I'm MySpace famous. I just said so. Yeah. So what are you talking about? No, I'm not. I've never been on MySpace. It's a lie. Um, thank you guys. Just Instagram and Twitter. (laughs) That's fair enough. (laughs) Uh, thank you guys so much for coming on. Uh, uh, until next time, we'll see everyone later. Goodbye. Later. Bye.
I would like to thank Zach Burkeen and Anna Michalak for coming onto the show. This was a really, really good episode. I really, honestly, I really liked this episode. It was a fun time having the two on, and, and next episode should be even better. Um, I mean, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for what's to come. Artwork was created by Kayla Red Zoromsky, and equipment was provided by Wild Stang's Radio Studio at Stevenson University. And if you, the audience member, have any weird or smartish questions or find any from Reddit or Yahoo, send them in to roundrobinpod at gmail.com. Obviously, listening to this episode, we are now completely out of Gmail questions. So we, when I say desperately, we desperately need some Gmail questions. Uh, next time we record, there probably won't be any Gmail questions in time. Hope I would love, I would love for people to send them in, but this episode comes out on Thursday and whenever we record, they might not turn out schedule whatever might not come out. Either way, we are all out of Gmail questions. So please, if you have any questions, any ridiculous, what have you, send them in to roundrobinpod at gmail.com. You can also follow the show on Twitter at roundrobinpod. You can also review the show on iTunes with leave a little five-star review in the comment describing how you love the show. As always, I am your host, Ryan Knightsey, and thank you so much for listening to Round Robin. Next episode is May 10th. Oh, whoa, May 10th. Big day for, for my personal life. Uh, May 10th will be the next episode of Round Robin with Donovan Gora and James Robinson. So until then, everyone, stay smartish. <laughs>